Okay, it's down here too. Especially they just go keep going just like this. They're playing it smart. Yeah, they're staying below. We should almost set up on both these fucking ravines. Set up there, set up here. Are they coming up on this one here? It looks like it over there. I don't know. I'm almost wondering if they're cruising down, if they're bedding back in there and they're cruising this and they're coming up to hit the minerals. Yeah, but they're cruising way past that. They're not, where the hell are they coming up at besides that ravine? You know, um, when we turned right to get back to where I have the minerals, Yeah. you can um, go off the left a little bit. That'll take you a little bit further back, it'll take you to another valley where it drops down into this. Right. There's a, freaking there's a huge deer run over that way too. And I don't know if that's where they're going to, Probably. but it looks like they were coming from that way over back this way. I think we need to get closer to this ravine, or to this edge. You wanna go that way now? Well, I'm already liking what I see. <laughs> yeah. I think if we can cut them off up on this fucking ridge somewhere. Because that's what they're doing. They're running this whole thing. And you know all your big bucks are going to stay down here. Mm-hmm. They're running up. Cobweb? Yep. Tree. I don't think we should set up maybe down here so much, but I think right on the edge of this motherfucker somewhere. It was easy for them to get off like the top of that fucking right. funnel. I mean, look at all these deer traps right here. That's what I'm saying. Set up your camera somewhere out this intersection. See what we get passing through. And maybe we do need to go more that way or, you know, stay down here. Because, well, being we have two cameras back here, I'll have mine up here, yours down here. We'll know if they're coming up or not. All right. All right, I guess we can uh, go ahead and do that since we've made a determination on where they're cruising through at. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, this is just... Even up here, we're taking the highway right up here, too. Oh, that's a bad spot. Yeah, I mean, these... Just an absolute crazy, crazy run that's going on down here. I mean, I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's all these tracks. Oh, that, that one. I think, I think honestly, this is probably going to be the best idea is to be down here. I mean, maybe like early season or something, just sit up on the edge of this. Oh, yeah. Just to see what's cruising through. You know, I mean, we'll have the cameras down here too, but. Just kind of what I'm thinking from what we're seeing, they've got to be coming from back in there. Somewhere. Somewhere, right? I mean, shoot. Figure. You set up on this maple right here. I would. I'd set up in this fucking. Split well, I'm just saying, set up in this maple right here. Take some of these trees out. You can shoot all the way down into here as yeah. they're coming through. That's what I. I figure sit in this split right here and shoot. 
I could shoot all the way fuck I could hit that trailer would be no fucking problem. That's getting a little risky for me. <laughs> that tree right there, that fucking maple. With the two that one little one comes okay. off of it. Because I'm left handed, that'll give me cover in front of me. There's trees, enough trees around me. Yeah, but we're back over where that uh, old platform is. Yeah. But to be honest, I don't think anybody's been back in there a very long time. No. Because there's no way these butts ought to be this big. No. Especially for up here during rifle season. At this point, you know, someone would have shot him. Oh, in a heartbeat. See, that's the thing. I don't like this tree. It's bare on this side. Mm -hmm. I mean, leaves go, I'm sure we're probably going to end up moving around anyhow. Uh, I try not to. See, that's why I like finding a good straight tree with a pine tree right behind it. Yeah, it's a little harder in hardwood. I think maybe that one a little bit. That was weird. That was from the direction where the vehicle is. Yeah. Like Not supposed to storm at all today. I know. Cody here can't make up his mind of what tree he wants to sit in. Hey, it's a delicate process. Yeah, I know. Finally got him out in the woods. Finally. Took you long enough. Hey, shit happened. I know. Oh. It's only T minus what? 40. Two days, I think I said earlier. Yep. Every day is a day closer. Hey, here's another draw coming up. Yeah, that's that other one we were at, I think. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Is that a big pile of bear shit? This? Oh, no. Oh. Look that way. Yeah, that's that other draw, I think. So I think I know where I'm going. Uh oh, now he's on a mission. There you go, right here. That's what I'm thinking, that maple. And you can, you know, look down. I don't no, you can't see down there. Because that goes to another bank down there and then it goes off to the left again. That split one right there, I'm going to go on the back. Back side of that. Basically. I'm going to go over here. Because they're funneling right through here. Almost want to walk further and see what's left. We can. I mean... We got to do it at some point. Yeah. Versus trying to scramble, figure it out last minute. Well, that's something that's uh, fun to do. No, because they're coming right through all this too. I'm thinking back where I was. They're funneling right through here. Yep. I think that's a go. That fucking them group of trees right there. Fucking shoot right over here. Fuck yeah. They're a little small, but it works. I don't need much. Okay. Littering. I'll pick it up. I know. That stuff is so expensive for the amount you get. Oh yeah, but it was just quick. Close enough. 
Hmm. Trail camera. There we go. We're stuck. All right, now the honey hole. Yep. That's what I got our, the fucking thing named as. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be that way during bow season. Same here. I think we're going to have a pretty nice bow season. And hopefully this will be the year I get my first buck ever. Hey. Oh, yeah, your first ever. My first with a bow. You've, you've, have you ever shot a deer with your bow? Yeah, I shoot those. So you've never shot a buck with your bow? Nope. Oh. No buck. You no, know, hopefully this is the year for both of us. I always wait too long. I wait out till freaking something nice comes in and then I don't see nothing. I've passed up I mean, a couple of fours, a couple of real, real small fishers, <coughs> fighters. Yeah, this is one of the runs. I actually almost just want to sit down here. <laughs> I it mean, it honestly would not be a bad idea. If you, I think, but if you sat down here, sit somewhere near this, or down, well, down that way further, maybe. Right. Let's take a gander. It's just crazy to traffic through. The here. traffic, yeah. Definitely deer coming through. I mean, just the size of that one print there. I mean, well, look at this one. Yeah, that one too. Trace, this one's almost the size of my hand. I bet you any money that's the big one. More than likely. Well, where's he coming up at? That's the thing. You know, like you said, if you run in this until he gets to a different food source and then hit here on the way back. If I sat there and had my stand facing this way, I could get away with shooting something for through here. We got clear of day here. And then if they are coming up this. I'd be setting somewhere up on this ridge. Because you think about it, they're not going to be looking up that high because that's already how high above all this. Yeah. Plus going up, I'd only have to go up like 15 feet. If yeah. that. And you'd still be 40 feet above them. Yeah. That's what I would do. I'd, they're running this ridge, I'd keep it. Okay. Yeah. Well, where do we want to put that camera? Anywhere through here, really, I think. You want to watch? I'd rather watch that back there. Oh, yeah. Because it's a heavier traffic. Right. Yeah, well, I don't want to do that. Okay. Set up camera there. And, and like I said, when I get home, I'll give Moultrie some more money. <laughs> that way I can get my Moultrie Mobile working up again. Well, where do we set up camera at? That apple tree? No, I'll go to that. Uh, Big birch. The one that's in between, that birch tree that's in between the two maples, the one to the far right. Oh. I'll put that one in. Mm, actually, I don't know. No. So what if you do that tree there, then you get everything coming by. Right there. I can go here with that camera arm, push it out a little bit, and have the box on the back side. There you go. I don't think anyone's going to be coming back this far. I mean, we're already pretty well in. Yeah. We'll do that. I'll put that camera arm on that tree and have the camera out a little bit and then the security or the mobile unit on the back. And uh, we'll do that. 
Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put that up.